Hi, I'm Bill Cooper, your host for Toro's Professional Course Maintenance Series. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Toro Greensmaster Flex 18 and 21 inch mowers. These mowers are similar from an operational standpoint. Their only difference is the width of cut. During this program, we'll be referring to both the 18 and 21 inch models as the Flex. While the greens themselves make up a very small portion of the golf course, they are the most important area for golfers. Today, we're going to talk about using the right equipment, proper mowing techniques, and safe operation to get the best results on greens and other manicured areas. Before you operate a flex mower, there are a few things that you'll need to know. It's important to wear substantial leather shoes or work boots and avoid any loose-fitting clothing or jewelry that could get caught in moving parts. Hard hats, safety glasses, and hearing protection are always a good idea. Make sure you check your local ordinances, insurance, and course regulations to see if these items are required. The flex mowers move effortlessly when you use the looped handle. The handle adjusts to the height of the operator by using one of these three adjustment holes. The controls on the flex are easy to use. On the right hand side, you'll see the throttle, as well as the traction and reel drive engagement lever. For traction, you will need to push forward. For a combination of traction and engagement of the reel, push over and forward like this. On the left hand side is the parking brake. Pull the lever all the way back to set the parking brake. The flex can also be equipped with an optional operator presence control. Check with your local distributor for this option. Here on the engine is the on-off switch. This is the recoil handle for starting the engine. This is your fuel shutoff valve. For storage or when you are moving the unit without power, the valve should be closed or in the off position. Always make sure the fuel shutoff valve is open before starting the engine. The choke lever is located here on the front of the engine. To close the choke, pull forward, and to open, push back. The grass basket mounts on these basket receivers. Grasp the basket in the center of the lift to lift it on or off. The flex is equipped with a kickstand and optional transport wheels. To lift, push the kickstand into position with your foot while pulling up on the handle. To release the kickstand, push the mower forward slightly and then push downward firmly on the handle. The unit must be on the kickstand to remove or install the transport wheels. To remove, simply pivot the locking clip out of the groove and pull off the wheel. To install the wheels, Pull back on the locking clip. Then slide the wheel onto the axle until the locking clip engages in the groove. Always check your mower before leaving the maintenance area. Never check fluids near the greens. If any gas or oil drips, it could kill the grass. To check the engine oil, remove the yellow cap located on the engine and make sure the engine oil is at the full mark. To check the gas, remove the cap from the tank. The fuel level should be filled no higher than the red line on the filler screen. Use only unleaded gas. The flex is equipped with a traction interlock switch that should be checked daily have the unit on the kickstand. 
This will prevent it from jumping forward. Engage the traction lever. Make sure your on-off switch is on. Attempt to start the engine. It should not start. If this interlock test fails and the machine starts, contact your supervisor immediately. Now you're ready to load your Greens Master for transport to the first green. To start the Greens Master, make sure the traction reel drive lever is in the neutral position. The parking brake should be engaged. Open the fuel shutoff valve. Turn the on off switch on and move the throttle halfway open. The choke lever should be half open when starting a cold engine. If the engine is already warm, you may not need to use the choke. Slowly draw the recoil starter handle until it stops. Then pull it to start the engine. Use a cart like the Toro Greensmaster transport cart. If using any other means of transport, make sure the mower is secure and does not bounce around. Check with your supervisor before operating any carts or vehicles that you are not familiar with. One last thing. Before leaving the shop area, be sure you know today's mowing direction. You'll find this information by checking a wall chart, your course's clock system, or by asking your supervisor. The Flex is a precision piece of equipment and can come out of adjustment if improperly transported, loaded, or unloaded. When transporting the Flex, drive slowly so that you don't damage the machine or throw it out of adjustment. On rough terrain, slow down to protect the unit. Remember to shut the fuel off when transporting. When you reach the green, unload the flex and place the mower on the kickstand. Remove the transport wheels by releasing the spring-held retaining clip and pulling the wheel off the axle. Make a visual inspection of the green for coins or other objects that could damage the reel or bed knife. Then remove the flag. Start the engine. Engage the reel drive. And adjust the throttle control to move at a comfortable pace. Generally, the first mowing pass is directly over the hole, establishing a straight edge for you to follow. Pick a tree or other obstacle in the distance and mow straight towards it. Some courses prefer that you start at one side of a green. Your supervisor will tell you which method to use. The reel speed is directly proportional to the throttle speed. This means that the Greens Master clip rate remains the same regardless of your normal walking speed. During straight ahead mowing, place your hands where they feel most comfortable, either on the sides or on the horizontal bar. You'll appreciate the smooth, self-propelling drive as you mow. The dual drive transmission helps the Greens Master mow in straight lines with minimal effort on your part. When you reach the end of your pass, you'll want to perform a teardrop turn. Make sure that you are completely off the green before turning so that you don't tear the turf on the green. Turn to your right and loop around to the left to line you up for your next pass. The grass basket has molded stripes along the top sides. These are line of sight guides that show you the edge of your previous cut. Make sure to mow with enough overlap to avoid any uncut strips. 
After getting accustomed to the Greens Master, you may prefer the whip turn because it increases your mowing efficiency. The loop handle will help you leverage the mower for the next pass. Never stop the Greens Master on a green with the reels operating, or the green could be damaged. Never stop on a wet green, or the machine may leave marks or indentations. If people come near the area where you're operating, move off the area that you are mowing and stop the machine. Don't start up again until the area is cleared. If something gets stuck in the reel during operation, immediately stop the reel and move off the green. Then stop the machine, disconnect the spark plug wire, and remove the basket. Never reach into a reel with your hands. Remove the foreign object with a stick or other tool. Report this incident to your supervisor. After the green is cut, finish with a perimeter or cleanup cut, which is a single pass around the edge. This establishes a clean edge between the collar and the green. To empty the grass basket, disengage the reel and move off the green. Engage the parking brake. Shut off the engine and remove the grass basket carefully. Then scatter the contents using a sweeping motion to disperse them, like this. Remember that accidents can happen to anyone. The most common causes are excessive speed, sudden turns, uneven terrain, not stopping the engine, and drugs, which impair your alertness. Cold capsules, prescription drugs, alcohol, and other drugs may cause drowsiness or disorientation. Stay alert and stay safe. Failure to do so could result in serious injury. It's your job to take care of both the greens and the machine. After mowing, always clean the machine and check it over. First, turn off the engine and engage the brake. Clean around the engine with compressed air. Then hose down the machine with a low pressure stream of water. Don't aim water directly onto the engine or bearings. You won't have to grease bearings with the Greens Master Flex. This is because the Flex uses a sealed bearing and canister seal system that eliminates greasing. If you're asked to perform any additional maintenance, refer to your operator's manual. It includes fluid specifications and change intervals. If you need help, ask your supervisor for assistance. If anything sounds funny, feels different, or smells unusual, bring it to the attention of your maintenance supervisor immediately. Use common sense, and please remember the following points. Read the operator's manual. This program is not a substitute. Your flex is a precision mower, so treat it with caution and respect. Drive slowly when transporting your mowers from one area to another. Practice under supervision until you're familiar with the flex operation. Most accidents are caused by speed, uneven terrain, not stopping the engine, and drugs. Use caution at all times, and dress properly. Stop mowing when people are near the mowing area. Check the fluids and interlock every day before operating. Bring the flex to your supervisor if anything seems unusual. Follow these simple procedures and your flex will do everything you need it to do. I'm Bill Cooper. Thank you for joining me for a look at the Toro Greensmaster Flex 18 and 21 inch mowers.